So one thing that's easy to do on social networking is making friends. You can make friends all day long. It's pretty easy. On LinkedIn, it's a little tougher. Facebook, it's fairly easy. Uh, LinkedIn has certain guidelines and rules about how you reach out and invite and connect with people, and you have to be cautious about how you do that because if you uh, operate outside their guidelines for sending out an invitation to somebody that doesn't know you, and that person turns down that invitation. If you get three of those in a row, they might suspend your account. So that's just a little subtlety. If you think you're just gonna go out there and spam the LinkedIn world and just try to get as many people as you can to connect with you that way, there's a pretty good danger that you might have an issue with LinkedIn. No, you won't know. That's the tough part. You, you just don't know. Unless you log on one day and you can't, if they suspended your account. They'll probably LinkedIn. It's never happened to me that they'd probably send you an email about that. And so one thing I've learned that with social media, it's difficult to sell in the purest form, in, a, in the direct way that we're used to selling in a social media environment. That doesn't mean that you can't find a way to do it. And I'm not sure that it's appropriate to do it, but there are ways to do it um, when you get to a certain point in the relationships that you build on social networking. And then the other thing is, so I've got 987 people that are connected with me. That's great. That's a nice number. But how do I manage that? How do I effectively target market my messages to 987 people? Because those 987 people are people that are in different professions. Some of them are friends. Some of them are business people in real estate. Some of them are in social media. So the messaging, the marketing messaging that I'm doing is not a one size fit all type of thing. So there are ways where you can segregate your friends, not only with LinkedIn, but Facebook as well, where you can create lists and you can label those lists just like any other database so that you can selectively share appropriately at the right time to the right people. <clears throat> so my goal with social media is not to really sell directly on social media. I want to build a cyber relationship, if you will, build trust, deliver quality content, get them to opt in to who I am, what I'm all about, and then encourage them to migrate from the online world to the offline world. And you do that by collecting email addresses. With any of this, whether it's LinkedIn or any other type of marketing program, the number one goal of online marketing is to build a database of email contacts. Once you have an email database, you own that real estate. That's yours. That's your lifeblood. That's the gold in all of this. What sets LinkedIn apart from all the other social media <coughs> platforms is you can actually export your entire database off LinkedIn into something like Constant Contact or AWeber or MailChimp or any one of these other email programs that you can use for an email marketing campaign. And it's really easy to do. <coughs> you can export it right out of LinkedIn into a CSV file, um, whatever it is, you know, you can put it in a spreadsheet on Excel. It's very, with one click of the mouse, your entire database comes off LinkedIn and into your data. And I recommend that you set up like a quarterly schedule to do that to, for your database management. Pete, what's your, what's yeah. your preferred um, email management tool? I know that's mail uh -huh. I've used a few. Some of them are, uh, what is my preferred email management tool? So in the world of, say, Constant Contact or AWeber or MailChimp, I've tried a few of them. I actually have a couple of accounts. The one that I use the most is Constant Contact. I use AWeber, too, for different reasons, because it has some functionality to it for internet marketing that's just a little more advanced than, say, Constant Contact. And then there's MailChimp and a few others. I've tried MailChimp. It's good as well, but I, I just like the way I'm comfortable using LinkedIn. I can figure out what to do with it. It's fairly easy to, to use. Yeah. 